YouTube, what's up guys? Nice sunny day. Welcome back to the channel. Back on the Toyota MR2 Spider 2ZZ turboed blowing up transmission. Uh, in my background, I have on MitchTray.com. They might already be sold. Uh, I have three exhaust. This one's probably going to go back on the turbo. That's the one that I'm using. You can see it's it's bigger. It's three inch. And then two uh, 2.5 inch exhaust. Uh, both are Magnaflow. One's in fantastic condition, but does not have tips. Uh, this will be sell. I can make tips on it if you guys want to have the matching tips, like the upper Magnaflow up here. And then this one will probably already be sold. It has the oval tips. And then again, it's a dual Magnaflow. It mates up to all 1ZZ and uh, 2ZZ MR2 Spider. So if you want duals, it's on for sale at MitchTray.com. Uh, both the top ones are for sale. Uh, that one's a little bit more expensive because it's complete and then if you want me to make this one complete I can do that one for you. This one I'm probably just going to keep for now. So let's go ahead and jump over the MR2. Uh, I do got a engine hoist which is great. Uh, Where did we leave off? Where did we leave off? We left off. Um, so we still have the turbo on. Uh, we still have the turbo on. We still have the transmission on. So what we're going to do right now first and foremost is drain the oil. Let's get the oil out of the 2ZZ. Alright guys that's what came out of the C60 transmission hello it, it's gonna be gone it blew up yowza yowza okay uh, I did drain the oil too from the 2ZZ there goes my plug um, probably not gonna need that plug for the transmission anymore so that's out now uh, let's go ahead oh the other thing I did notice is that I'm gonna buy new axles so on the Passenger side is the O3 axle, and then on the driver side is the two the original axle. It's smaller. The O3s are better. They're actually bigger. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna get an O3. We're gonna get the upgraded ones. So what do I want to do now? Um, yeah, let's just get the turbo off. Okay, so turbo's off. Um, got all the 14 millimeters on the back of the 2ZZ off. Uh, so that's pretty good. That's some good progress. Next thing we're going to do is, I did get the, the, what's that thing called? Engine hoist. And I'm going to put a thing here to, to hoist it up. So I can up, lower up and down the 2ZZ. Um, I think that's, I don't remember how I did it last time. I think I just did a jack on the oil pan, which is typically the easiest. So that we can do the motor mount right there. The motor mount back here and then the motor mount front. And then it'll lower. We're going to hang with that motor mount over there. We don't need to undo that one. We're just going to slide it off. We're not removing the whole engine because I think the 2ZZ is still good. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and um, remove the axles, the axle nuts and the axles to get the axles out. So let's let's do that now. Okay, both axles are now out. Uh, I'm going to buy new ones. The whatever it's called, what's that thing called? Whatever, the seal, axle seal, the joint. It has a funny name, axle seal joint or whatever it is. That one's shot. It tore right here. Um, hey, look at the difference here. So you can see that one's an O3 and one's not. This guy's fat. I'm gonna get two of the bigger upgraded ones. It's not like I'm gonna snap them. This thing only does like max 175 pounds of torque, not very much. Um, but it would be nice to have the matching ones. So we'll get new matching ones. We'll look on Monkey Wrench Racing. Uh, axles out, turbos out, uh, transmissions is next. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use the engine hoist or not. I think what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time, which is I just put a, uh, the floor jack underneath the the um, oil pan and then uh, like line it and unline it, line it and unline it, and then slide the tr new transmission in. And I'll have a friend help me or something just to line it. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and what's next? The next thing that we're going to want to do is... Well, we're probably going to want to put that transmission or the jack underneath the um, the 2ZZ and then start undoing the transmission bolts and the motor mounts and then pop that thing off. So I don't know what time it is, but I might be able to get it by the end of this video. If not, uh, this video will just be like removing the turbo or something like that. Or I, don't, I think that was the last one I did. So just continuing and then um, hopefully I can get the transmission off so we can see the damage in this video. If not, it'll be the next video. Uh, let's go ahead and start doing it. There's just going to be um, quite a few 14 millimeters and 17 millimeters all around the transmission bell house. Okay, so I did just order new axles, so I'm going to recycle these, just throw them away. Uh, let's go and do 
What time is it? Let me see. Yeah, I got 20 minutes. I think I can drop the transmission in 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and start doing, I got everything. We're gonna go ahead and undo all the bolts. Once all the bolts are done, um, we're gonna unhook the motor mounts. Once the motor mounts are unhooked down, we're gonna lower the jack or lower the transmission slightly. I think I need a two by four little thing to do it. Um, and then once once we have that, we'll be able to, uh, to slide the transmission off of the 2ZZ block. We're gonna throw that or recycle that one and then the monkey wrench racing one should be here. Uh, we'll also, maybe on this video, maybe next video, we'll remove the um, the uh, uh, the flywheel and the uh, pressure plate. Hopefully it's easy and none of the bolts actually broke off there too. So we'll have to look at that as well. All right, I ran out of time. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. Uh, axle's out, turbo's out. Um, Next video, we're gonna remove the transmission, look how bad the transmission is, and it's gonna be bad. It'll be gnarly. Uh, then after that, we'll receive all the parts. I'll do an unboxing and show you guys all the new transmission. And then we'll install the new transmission, the clutch, then we'll do like final, final touches, and then we'll do the uh, first start, and then we'll be on our way. I'm still on the fence if I'm gonna paint the charge pipes or not. Comment down below if I should or if I shouldn't. And then, um, yeah, this, this will be done and all back and running really soon. We'll use this as a daily driver and then we'll move on to the Toyota Celica GTS. It'll be very similar to this, but in front wheel drive, turboed. The only issue with the Celica is, is that a firewall is just smashed up against there. It's a little bit hard. My knuckles are gonna get busted, but it is what it is. Like, subscribe, swingbymister.com if you wanna grab one of those exhausts. Uh, they are still for sale, I think, right now is this moment they are. Uh, like, subscribe, see you guys on the next video.